<laughs> Welcome back. I have a really big news to share. Uh -oh. oh my god. Today, October 24th. Yes. Is National Food Day. National wow. Food Day. Yeah. It's also on top of National Food Day. <laughs> National <laughs> Baloney Day. <laughs> yum. Oh, my favorite holiday. I, I love hate baloney. Baloney. Oh, I love baloney. baloney always scared me, oh. especially because it like reminded me of the Clarice. <laughs> oh yeah, thing. Like I, uh, uh, my mom uh, would always take cookie cutters and do that on the baloney, so I'd get like shaped baloney. Very cute. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that weird? It tastes the same. Uh, it's it's kind of gross. First of all, it's a waste of baloney. What are you? Who's eating? Oh, the, who's yeah, eating the scraps? The squiggles. And don't Me. you put bologna in a sandwich? Are you eating, you're eating like raw like slivers? <laughs> yeah, it's like a charcuterie board. <laughs> Ew. Uh, so, okay. Bologna wait. is so did your good. Did oh. your parents eat bologna and that's why you were served bologna? I, I liked so. it. I, I, I just, like it. I get bologna now. You can eat it? Yeah, kosher bologna. You still buy bologna. Sure do. For, for a little sandwich? Isn't it like no. the worst meat yeah. ever? They're all that. All those like cured meats and like stuff that comes I think in a package. Bologna is like not like real parts of the body. Yeah. It has, yeah. uh, it's like the scrap. It's giving hot dog. <laughs> sodium yeah. nitrite is the ingredient you want to look for. And if it has sodium nitrite, that's Ew. like what? Bologna? Let oh. me see. Ew. What is it? Is it beef? Oh, oh I, I love, love bologna. It. That I is love it. You ever, have, you ever have salami, like the thick salami? Oh, I like oh salami. yeah. Salami. And then you burp it up like an hour later and you're like, oh, what about God. fried bologna? Never had fried bologna. <laughs> oh gosh. Let me say just like is flashback to like <laughs> as a child when I had to like What about what about pastrami or like, pastrami. like turkey? Yes. Yeah. I mean yeah, those are all turkey bologna, chicken bologna. Oh no, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's, that's like a whole sheet of Well that bologna. white bread is not good. You want to put it on a nice roll I feel like or good. stick to the roof of my I feel like the mouth. only thing you can eat bologna with is that white bread. It's like the ultimate shit sandwich. <sighs> but you uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the only when I would get um lunchables, I would get the bologna ones. Ew, always. Oh. What? I okay. It's my preference. <laughs> is bologna <laughs> is bologna a cheaper gross. meat? Probably. Yeah, I think it's like hot dog. Bologna is commonly made of beef, pork, turkey, or chicken that's finely ground and stuffed into a casing for cooking. It's like a hot dog. Yeah, yeah and then like a no. fl it's a flattened hot dog. Yeah, yeah. That, that's cold. You're eating a cold <sighs> flat. It does not taste dog. like a hot dog it's though. So good. It tastes like. Like, it's, I mean, I haven't ass. had it in like probably 15 years, but maybe I would hate it now, but I don't think so. I grew up on it. I feel so. like you'll like it. Yeah. It's so good. Bologna. Oh. Ew, it says some bolognese are made with hearts or liver. Oh, like I just can't believe this like babysitter lady would miss that. You've been eating hearts and for so long. It's meat scraps. I was so scared of the Erewhon smoothie. It's meat Ew. scraps. Just like hot dogs. Yeah. hot dogs. I don't give a fuck what it's made of. It tastes good. Yeah, but it's cooked at least. Like warm, and you can like put ketchup on it. <laughs> People have the same thing with hot dogs. It's no different. What's good, everyone? Yeah, Welcome back to another episode of Good Influences. Today, we're going to be talking about Ooh. some tea, celebrity scandals, <gasps> controversies, some you may know and remember, some maybe that we've dug up that you may have forgotten about. Um, I think we're going to try to avoid talking about crimes. Well, but... I, I do want to say most of mine have to do with some sort of crime, but it's not like Murder? OJ vibes. Yeah, right. it's not like big trial all over the news type right. of thing. Right, right. It's just ones okay. I've been like, oh, I didn't know that I'm happened. just fascinated certain celebrities have gotten away with like killing somebody. <laughs> like who? So Caitlyn many have. Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. Jenner. Killed someone. Yeah. Matthew Broderick. OJ Simpson. That one. Yeah. Matthew that, Broderick oh, was driving in, like, in Europe or something? Yeah, in Ireland in yeah. like 1989. He was driving on the wrong side of the road because it's be driving the wrong side of the road. Head on collision with like a mother and her daughter and they <gasps> died. And then he was like supposed to go to jail, and then he just ended up paying a hundred and eighty dollar fine. Hundred and eighty dollars. Yep. Slay. And How? then, like in twenty twenty, he did a commercial for Honda, and all these people in Ireland were like, "Really, a car Shut commercial?" Up. Yeah. Wait, how did Caitlyn Jenner get away? Or like, I know it's everyone's like she got away with murder, but like, do we know what happened? She, I she like she hit, hit someone, someone with her car. Yeah. Yeah, but like, then was there a court? Like, what? I think there was, but I don't know the rest accident. of it. Yeah. yeah. You ever crazy. seen the movie Michael Clayton with? Uh, George Clooney? No, but I'm... Um, the I'm, opening scene of that, he plays a lawyer, and the opening scene, like, establishes who he is, and he just gets a call in the middle of the night, he drives down to this, like, suburban rich family, and it's about their son, who had just did a hit and run, and, like, hit somebody who was jogging, drove home, and, like, the lawyer, like, his job is to just fix these types of things for rich people. You know where else that was a scenario? Where? Suits. What? You're right, it was. <laughs> Here we it go. It was. Yes, Harvey Specter had it going. Yeah. Oh my and then God. He, he was like, I didn't do it. But then, remember, he like told 
the other guy, he was like, I actually did do it and I was high. Yeah. And it all comes back to weed. Oh, can yeah. I, can I actually, I have a controversy about suits, <gasps> sure. a celebrity scandal. Oh yeah. Um, as we all know, I, wait, what's her name? The Megan woman who's, Markle? yes. Uh, she, the actress <laughs> on that show has a love interest. Uh, this guy, Patrick Adams, who's the actor who plays Mike Ross on suits. And after she had got married and like was the princess or whatever, he posted on his Instagram like a throwback to when they were on suits together. And one of the photos that he posted was like Rachel and Mike, their actors kissing, kissing on the show. And he posted that and it was like he got completely filmed. Like, how dare you? Are you trying to insinuate that you were having an affair? And like, oh my God, he's like happily married with children. I know. And he took the post down. Like, he got bullied into taking the post down because <laughs> people just a... were just so offended that he posted a. Was it people like in the UK who were mainly mad? I'm not sure. I didn't see, I didn't read too much into it, but I was like, oh my God, a suits controversy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it had to be like non suits heads. For sure, yeah. Like, I feel was, like you would have seen it and been like, oh, how dare he? Yeah, suits it's probably heads. people who didn't watch Suits <laughs> yeah. and were just, like, like so upset. Like, for them. Yeah. Um, That's wild. Yeah. Which, it also is, like, maybe a little bit in poor taste. Like, maybe don't post you making out with a now-married woman, even though you're acting, like... I was gonna say, I feel like that is, like, a weird move. It's a little weird. I don't know if it's... Did he post it, like, oh, the day of, like, the, Let me look the wedding? Let the photo was. Or was No, this... no, I think it was, like, after the wedding at some point. Okay. Um, we can pull it up. I, I think I had it. I don't know if I screenshotted that one. That's, like, weird. Um, It is a little weird that out of all things he posted, like, them yeah. kissing. Well, it seems it's like a little pro- weird, yeah. Oh, he apologizes for throwback photo in suits. Actually, yeah, I do find that a little weird. I want to see the yeah. picture to to determine whether or not are they friends? Like still, yes. yeah, they were all at yeah. the wedding. There's like a great like. Oh, he was at the wedding. They yes. were all at the wedding, and he the whole cast was there of suits. Yeah, good for them. <laughs> <laughs> they all looked great, by the way. What they looked great. I was like, oh, this is so sweet. I know they were on like a little like bus together. Yeah, it was like they're all. I mean, they're all buds. They were on a show together yeah. for like six years. Um, I can't believe we started the suits thing. Seriously, we talked about it on this podcast, and like a week later, it's on Netflix. I swear to God. I mean, we I think it, it probably. Well, I don't know. We didn't start it. Actually. But it's crazy. We, we talked like, about the credit it away. Well, no, but I mean, okay. like it, it's everywhere now. The la- this is his apology. The last couple days, I foolishly and thoughtlessly let a trip down suits memory lane distract me from a very real and ongoing fight in the SAG after community. Okay, so he apologized because he also posted about a show when they're on strike. Um, Wait, th- they were striking then too? No, I guess this is a different. Controversy. Yeah, maybe maybe oh, the yeah. article that I read about this was wrong because I'm looking at the photos now. Is it this one, like where she's yes, kissing his I, cheek? Yes, that's. I oh, think that's what like, I saw. That's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, I that's... thought it was like a scene of them like making out. Still not the best. Like oh, whatever. A... And so if one more one more thing about him. So like if it was your wedding and yeah. I decide like to post, out of all, like a picture of you kissing me on the cheek. That day, don't you think it's a little weird? It wasn't on the it's, wedding day. Oh, it's wasn't. like a slideshow of photos. It's not like that was in the main feed. If, if it's like a bunch oh, of yeah, pictures. it was like remember remember our fun time on suits. Okay, yeah. it was like a carousel. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. I to me, it would not bother me. Um, have you guys seen where there is a actor s- similar to this guy who I've seen him do it? It's so clear that a company hired them to do a cameo, and they're just doing the ad read for the like this game and it's like so clearly a cameo that he's reading off the script and i've seen ads on instagram that have the cameo logo and it will be like the guy from suits uh lewis? Yeah, yeah lewis and he's, he's like cameo. hey guys i just want to tell you about my favorite game uh all-star brick break or whatever and it's like reading it from the- he's like reading it off a thing and it's him doing an like what's clearly an ad read but the cameo logo is in the <laughs> ad like i'm getting a sponsored post from a game and the cameo logo is like jumping around and he's like when i'm feeling stressed i love to just play this game it really makes me feel so much what? better it's crazy yeah i've seen those but i do know that cameo has a feature where you can book sponsorships like through the app as well but i don't know if the watermark goes on them or not but it's just like first of all who is his team that's like (laughs) yeah yeah, let's give the rights to use your likeness to promote some like (laughs) game with in-app purchases all over instagram i see it everywhere yeah it's crazy i've never seen that hmm yeah, Maybe it's because I, I watch so I much. I bet I'll shoots. see it now after yeah, the Bechdel will. theory. Yeah. Oh, the, the Bechdel? Bechdel theory. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was one of my good ones. Well, no, yeah. we're talking about the, the uh, other one. Did I tell you the thing? Uh, never mind. The one where like you see things after you think oh, of B- it. Oh, Biter Minhoff. Yeah, Biter, we were thinking that it was like the Bechdel. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Because <laughs> I won't remember Biden. 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 That's what I'm going to call it now. Oh, no, it's Bader Meinhoff. Biden. Bader Meinhoff or Bader Meinhoff. 
Um, anyway, that's just two Pretty little good. suits controversies yeah. to start the show. <laughs> well, I have I have one that I'm sure Mike knows all about. Let me see. Is it Jewish? Yes. Was somebody well, like faking being Jewish? No, it's when Justin Bieber said Anne Frank would be a believer in 2013. Oh, right. <laughs> that was crazy. This? That was crazy. A po- <laughs> so the posting on the Anne Frank House Facebook page said the 19-year-old Canadian had written he hoped Anne Frank would have been a believer. Oh, he hoped she would have. He went on the Anne Frank Facebook page? No, no, no. no. The- he... He went to visit the Anne Frank house, house. and in the, the guest book, guest you book write, I, I would hope I hope she would have been a believer, a believer or something. Oh my god! <laughs> and so on the fa- on the official he wrote face- that in the book. In yes. The How old was he? Was he like nineteen? 19. He was nineteen. Oh. This was in twenty thirteen. But he's also a famous person nineteen, which means he's like twelve. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it says, it, on the Facebook page, it says, Yesterday night, Justin Bieber visited the Anne Frank house together with his friends and guards. Fans were waiting outside to see a glimpse of him, it said. He stayed more than an hour in the museum. In our guest book, he wrote, Truly inspiring to be able to come here. Anne was a great girl. Hopefully she would have been a believer. Oh, okay. Oh, but yeah. But that's like, I, what? It's a little that's crazy. crazy. That's it, insane. Do they still keep the book? Like, I bet yeah, she would have been. Uh, so, Car- say, so Aaron's yeah. doubling down for those <laughs> keeping score at home. I get Why do they have a guest book at Anne Frank's house? I think that's like a little strange. Maybe Who- she's reading it at night. I- <laughs> <laughs> And so I back. think there was a comedian that like did a whole bit about it. And he's like, okay, is he saying that if like Justin Bieber was alive during the Holocaust, yeah. she would have found his music or <laughs> if she was alive and 97 years old today oh. and she didn't die, she would be a believer at 97. Like, um, what did he actually mean by this? I'm true. thinking like his 19 year old brain was probably like if Anne Frank was a teen right today, now, yes. Yes. she would like that's my probably, I see what he was doing yes. in his head. Yeah. Like Justin As Bieber's teen, head. Right. Like, right. Of course. Yeah. But reading that, you're like, like this is what you're thinking you about? Get, Like, who was like... <laughs> I think it also feels a little self-promotional to, like, use your own branding. Like, don't talk about being a believer, believer. in yes. the exactly. Holocaust book. <laughs> exactly. It, it would be like... Why writing in the Holocaust book? I don't know what... No, why is there... It's like a, a little book guest in the book. Anne Frank house that For I think For people you can, to write you know, in? Like when you, I guess. Yeah, it's, like it's not like a wedding. I know. It's not like... But maybe it's like because she like had a diary. Historical, it's, too. And yeah. then, like, you don't know. Like, in the future, they could be like, look at all these people who but, visited the Anne Frank house. people writing reviews like, the AC in here was terrible. It's a little stuffy. really hit two stars. Like, what do you... What is everyone... Are they writing messages to Anne? Are they writing it to the owners? I like probably... Like, like he wrote this was like truly inspiring to like I thought it was a tweet that no, he did. no okay. it was no, uh, it might have been a tweet too it may have been but I he think wrote he tweeted it also <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot wait 10 famous people who signed the the Anne Frank house yeah, guest see? book oh let's see well Justin let's see it's like <laughs> Steven Ooh. Spielberg he said never forget in life and even more in death Anne Frank has held the world in the innocent spell of her truth and wisdom and <laughs> Justin Bieber wrote so, hopefully she would have been over <laughs> I, I, I think that Anne would have loved E.T. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Foxx, Sharon Stone, Madonna, Lenny Kravitz, yeah, Chris Noth, Mary. Someone asked. Steenburgen. I was at the Holocaust Museum, and someone asked Mary, for a selfie. Would t- love her. Whoopi Goldberg, Kelly Osbourne, Hillary Clinton. I didn't go to the Anne Frank House when I was in Amsterdam. How come the line was just too? Long. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> it was like a, it was three hours, and I was there for a day. How big that is it? That would be crazy. It's small. To go. It's really small. And you just go in the room and like I think do you so. get like a like... minute in there? Like, is it? I don't know. I th- I mean, I think it's probably there's like guided tours. I think, and also it's like a museum now. Yeah. Have yeah. they like rehabbed it a bunch? I have none. I didn't, I didn't yeah. go. I don't know. I did go I'm to sure the. I'm sure there's like a video on YouTube. The Van Gogh go Museum on. in Amsterdam is fucking sick. Well, if you guys ever find yourselves in Amsterdam, Van Gogh Museum. But he would have been a believer. Vincent, you he, can only hear with, he can only hear with one airpod though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was there a Van Gogh thing here and it was like terrible? Oh, yeah. the immersive yeah. Van Gogh yeah, they exhibit. Did it. They got rid of the Amoeba Records store oh. and well, they put moved that shit it. there. Yeah. yeah, but like that's an iconic location. I agree. That was fucked. Remember when we went there randomly one time and then like there was a whole Harry Styles thing going on? Yep. Did funny. you get a new ear piercing? I got two. two. I got this and I got okay. this. I thought I was losing my mind for a second. Like, have I, have I never noticed that? I was like, oh, this one like a month ago. Oh, wow. I don't see that side of your head. I know. <laughs> I'm fine. really paying attention. 
No. It's just like getting in my eye from the light. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> sorry, the diamonds are so bright. Wow. Um, the beeps. He's had a lot of controversies, I feel. Yeah, I just feel like this was the most obscure. But you remember when he was in the Great Barney's? Wall? I'm so he, sorry. He was on the Great Wall of China and his like bodyguard like put him on his shoulders. There was huh? that whole thing and everyone <laughs> thought it was just like, yeah, he was like exhausted and his bodyguard put him on his shoulders <laughs> and walked the Great Wall of well, China. Well, he has Lyme disease. Yeah. I think <laughs> Justin has like, Lyme disease. Yeah. yeah. He has a... Pretty Did bad. you not see when like half of his face was like it got like paralyzed, paralyzed for a while? Yeah. Oh yeah, that was freaky. Palsy. I mean, he's got a rough life. I feel like yeah, mm -hmm. like yeah. being that young. Mm -hmm. I also just, just saw a thing. I don't know how true it is, but it was like sources say Haley Bieber is like frustrated with Justin because he acts like such a child. Yeah, blah, wouldn't blah, blah. you be? I mean, yeah. yeah. I saw someone ripping him for when she was like dressed up in her thing in New yeah. York, and what he wore a fucking loser for him. Yeah. To like dress up like a bum? Yes. He's yeah. just I've seen both sides. So like at first I thought that, but then I saw people commenting. It was like, she, he's letting her have her moment. Yeah, but he's still taking the moment yeah, he because he looks like a slob. Yeah, that, he could have yeah. just worn a suit or like a fucking yeah. sport coat. But, and then you'd blend in. Yeah. Because like it's an event where everyone yeah. is dressed nicely. If it were me, at... I'd be like, you didn't dress up at all? I really think though, you can't win when you're that famous. Anything you do, someone will find fault with. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That so... said, let's find fault with celebrities. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Talkspace. Sometimes life can get you down and it can affect everything from how you wake up in the morning to how you feel, your relationships, but it helps to talk to a therapist. If you're not sure how to get started, Talkspace makes it easy to find a therapist that you'll like. It's convenient to meet online, at home, where you're most comfortable. Talkspace has made a huge difference in the lives of so many people. Do you think that seeing a therapist or a psychiatrist would be helpful, but you don't have the time to actually find one and meet with them or even afford it? Well, try Talkspace. Doing everything online, Talkspace has made getting the help you want easy, accessible, and affordable. Why wait? Some people wait until something bad happens before talking to a therapist. Don't wait. You can get a therapist through Talkspace. Therapy can help you shift your perspective, find tools to cope in difficult times, and be a guiding light. Getting started is the important part, and Talkspace makes it easy and affordable. With Talkspace, you can sign up online and get a personalized match with a provider that's right for you, typically within 48 hours. It's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions with your licensed therapist from the comfort of your home. There's no need to commute to appointments or miss time at work or line up childcare in order to attend sessions. It's mental health care made easy. Talkspace lets you message your therapist so you don't have to wait until your next session. Talkspace is secure and private using the latest end-to-end bank-grade encryption technology to store client information and complying with the latest HIPAA regulations. Talkspace is affordable and in-network with most major insurers. As a listener of this podcast, you'll get $80 off your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com good. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com slash good to get $80 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash good. One that drives me nuts is like, <laughs> uh, you know, Alec Baldwin's wife, Hilaria. Hello. Hilaria. Hilaria. No, Hilaria. 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 And she says that she is from Spain, but she's yes. not from Spain. She's from Boston, Boston, and she went by Hillary, and she does this, like, uh, Spanish accent. accent. Yeah. How and, do you say uh, uh, cucumber? Cucumber? She goes, Wait, uh, that what? Yes. 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 So, I think, yes, her well, parents did live in Spain. Okay, she, she does have some connections. connection here. Cause... But she just rebranded as this <laughs> Spanish lady. Oh, my God, I'm going to do that. It, she, like, went to school in Spain, right? Yeah, Is that so what it was? Her parents they were both like professors or something and so for a lot of her like youth she was born in massachusetts like lived in boston and then i'm pretty sure they went to like teach in spain or something yes and so then like she started going to school there but like but like she <laughs> how do you say you're telling me you're going she... from pactica at harvard yard yeah to like how do oh, you today say? uh we'll be doing these. I feel insane. like she kind of hammed up that personality to like seduce Alec Baldwin. No. Yes. And then now he like realizes, oh my gosh, you have been like putting on an act this no, whole time. He that defends would... her to his death. Yeah, I know. He's in love with her. Oh, I... They have like 18 fucking kids. <sighs> yeah. They're weird. And crazy names. Isn't one of the kids Ireland? That's a I good mean, name. I mean, that's his one. That's Ireland's like what my our age, is. and she's that's <laughs> he had it with like Kim Bassinger, right? Yeah, that's Wait, not Ilaria. Is the Baldwin that accidentally shot? Alec that's Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. That's the same yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. What's the other one? Stephen Baldwin? Mm -hmm. That's And then Haley's. there's another Baldwin. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. There's <laughs> so many of them. Benny yeah. Baldwin. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just think that is wild. She <laughs> just goes around like, it's really I just can't stand liars. I like hate that? people who are full of shit. Yes. Like to this day, she talks no, like that? people have called her out. And I like, know. I like remember it. But... literally will be like, you just don't understand. Like, you can't tell someone like, this is not their 
heritage or whatever but it's like no you just because you like if i did a semester abroad i wouldn't be like i'm from the uk yeah, yeah. madonna did that she married guy Ritchie and lived in london and then started talking with a yes. british accent for yes a year. and and Lindsay lohan had a yes. bit of that and misha barton she did that yes. as well what did she Which, talk like she, just she randomly had a british accent for a misha while misha barton had a british accent yes it was very strange and the kid who does the elvis thing like now just talks like elvis Oh, yeah, Austin yeah. Butler. Yeah, he was oh, yeah. like method acting, so I think he but got a little. Still, uh, yeah, I think he might just be. But isn't it kind of weird though? Like, okay, so I get mad about Hilaria Baldwin talking Hilaria. with the Spanish uh, Hilaria, <laughs> but when Hilary. but when Lindsay Lohan does Hilary. it. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. It's Lindsay Lohan. Go do your thing. It's Cause and, if it's Madonna because like... it's. I don't know. I feel they're like... already weird. I guess yeah. Hilaria and... is like profiting off of it. Like she was doing all of these like videos and like I don't know it's just like different it like Lindsay different. Lohan's just like a character in Hillary Baldwin like you. Oh, and that cute that cucumber shit I it's on yeah. loop in my brain how do you all say, the time how do you say uh, cucumber you, you were doing that See, just to make it seem that's like why it makes it worse that's why no, it's she's worse, like she's doing how do you like say that. cucumber yeah like it, she, she did it like on a talk show. Cucumber? Yeah. <laughs> Como si dice? No. <laughs> Dice. Remember when Miley Cyrus smoked Salvia? Yeah. And how oh. cool. It on was camera? Like, yeah, she it hit was a bomb. There were photos of it and everything. Oh, vaguely. Yeah. And it was like, I remember they like, she's so gone well. off the deep end. It was her yes. bangers era yeah. where like everyone was just like it being was so. It was before bangers. Was it? Yeah, it's when she had like long hair. It was that moment where she was still like. Her Hannah Montana contract, I think, was done. Like her Disney yeah. era was done, but she hadn't gone full party girl yet. Okay, it was because she had uh, the and long. She, did. she was. It was right after she Miley Cyrus Hannah. the movie because she started dating. Was it Liam, Liam. Hemsworth? Because then when she's on Salvia, she thought she like saw Liam on Salvia. She's like, "Is that my boyfriend?" Or like, I don't know. What? But I remember seeing that video. Yeah, and there's I was a like, video of it, right? Yeah, they yeah full video of Miley Cyrus doing Salvia. Thing. It was crazy. That's like suits. <laughs> uh, is so you're dealing drugs? God, Mike. Are you really dealing drugs? Is this the answer? Um, here's a th thing I didn't know that happened. Russell Crowe. We all know Russell Crowe, the uh, mm -hmm. great Australian actor yes. known for a bit of a temper. I drank his tequila one time at a party. I sat down at a table. Ooh, Russell Crowe. Okay, he wasn't okay. drinking it, and I helped myself to his whole... Oh, table. Man. Like you he had gave, his sloppy seconds. He gave me no. Like <laughs> I sat Close at a a I sat at Russell Crowe's like table, and he like you know had like bottle service. Yeah, and I just oh. like helped myself, and he just like looked at me doing it. And I just walked away. <laughs> so you stole like a glass of whiskey wow. from wow. Russell Crowe. He wasn't drinking it, so I had some. <laughs> Were you part of his crew or take? You no. just walked. Right I was at it was at the Vanity Fair party at, in Cannes, <laughs> and you just walked up to Russell Crowe's table and go. I think we knew like someone at the table we were kind of talking, but it was his table. And looks I, like you need some help polishing that up, bud. Mind if I take a swing? <laughs> so wait, what is uh, it? Well, known for having an unpredictable temper, his most notable scandal, which I don't know if this is his most notable scandal, but involved a hotel employee and a telephone. In 2005, an angry crow hurled a phone at a New York City hotel clerk when his call wouldn't connect to his wife in Australia. He Naomi was handcuffed by the NYPD and taken to a nearby station house. Oh, Jesus. So this guy's in 2005, like on a landline, trying, trying <laughs> to get an outbound call to Australia in the lobby of a hotel. And what it just hotel? goes, sorry, this call cannot be completed as dialed. And this guy takes his phone and launches it at a hotel clerk. Whoa. Fucked. Crazy. Never that one. I never knew that either. I feel like because then it wasn't like, we didn't get tea like that. No, and 2005 you know I mean? was like, that was probably in the papers for a week. Yeah. And like, I think that's, he like has now a reputation for being, having a bad temper. And like now really? that would just be all over TikTok. Yeah. Like, did you guys hear about the Russell Crowe thing? Here's videos. what happens. Oh, like yeah. 14 people would have oh, filmed yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Because I'm arrested. sure he was like getting all angry and hot and bothered before, like getting mad at the employee. And then he finally just snapped. Yeah. Damn. What an asshole. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Do you remember when Winona Ryder, like... Winona? What did I say? Winona? Winona? Sorry, Winona. My badness. <laughs> Why, Nona? <laughs> uh, she, I think I have that one. Shop, shoplifting. Yes. And I, I knew about story. it when I was like a kid. Yeah. Like, it was like such a big deal. It but, was like, so upsetting because she was in uh, Mr. Deeds. She was That was like the only thing yeah. I knew her from. And I loved that Adam Sandler movie. And then it was she right was after that. She before then... Mr. Deeds, right? I think it was after. Oh. I, I thought... can read the story. Oh, I yeah, have yeah. it here. Why, Nona? Why were you shoplifting? <laughs> I think just for a rush, because she had plenty of money. Wait, how is her name? Why, Nona? Why, Nona? 
<laughs> what? I always call her Winona Ryder, even though Winona? it's Winona. Winona. I thought someone said when. Doesn't you know. she spell it W I, not W Y? It's W I N O N A. Why is he laughing like that? What happened? Because oh, you said Winona. Water in his mouth. Why is, but why is he laughing? Because of the pun you made? <laughs> why, no, no, why? <laughs> and that goes, no, but I really think it was because... <laughs> just like, dude... <laughs> and then he still can figure it out. It's Winona. Why, why? no, no, why, <laughs> no, 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 why? Why? Oh my why god, that almost went <laughs> sideways fast. Did you call an ambulance? <sighs> okay, it's Winona okay. Ryder. Winona or Winona? Whatever. Back in 2001... <laughs> Oh, so it was before Mr. Deeds. Oh, well, Beetlejuice. Yeah, after Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice yeah. 1980. But like during 9-11. Wow. Really had to go there. Did yeah. you guys hear about that, But y'all don't want to talk about 9-11. <laughs> scandal. Did you hear like two, tr two Did planes? you guys hear about the scandal known as 9-11? Have you guys seen the actual clip of Mariah Carey saying that on yes. stage? It's so oh, out it's of the so blue. Oh, it's so weird. Yeah. Wait, what did she say? She just goes, y'all don't want to hear about 9-11. And, and then the like goes, what? And then she just goes, <laughs> oh I love that the crowd goes, huh? Wait, yeah. she's playing at the Hollywood Bowl for she like oh, for Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. yeah, I saw it last night. I was like, I have oh my to go. God. Yeah, it was just one of her shows in between songs. Yeah, I think like, she was doing like know? it was like a 9-11 benefit concert kind of a thing. And <laughs> she was, was like, it's like giving say. Wendy Williams. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, so it's back in 2001, Winona Ryder shoplifted at a Saks Fifth Avenue store <gasps> on Wilshire Boulevard and stole merchandise worth of five. In LA? Five thousand five hundred sixty dollars. It had stuff like a cashmere Markup Jacobs or sorry, Mark, Mark Jacobs up. sweater worth seven hundred sixty dollars. Quite a few Frederick Fecky Fecky hair adornments worth about six hundred dollars, and several pairs of socks, including a cashmere pair from Donna Caron, worth eighty dollars. She was found guilty. Donna Caron, D K N Y, fashion. Is it? Yeah. She was found guilty of theft and had served had to serve four hundred eighty hours of community service. In an interview, Can you just pay. She yeah, said what that, was, but, yeah. and it's also like she didn't steal one. Hours. She didn't steal one item. She took the lot. Like she like walked Socks. in and put like that. Socks, sweater, which I like, but like she was doing it for the thrill. But maybe probably. she could have been told, like in her defense, like an A list situation You're where it's right. like, hey, you can just go and just pick out what you want, and then it'll be taken care of. Like, well, yeah, she kind of explains. Okay, says so in an interview. With um, Interview Magazine, Winona Ryder said that she was thankful for the incident. She was going through a rough phase and that mishappening stopped her from crashing on the ground. She said, that thing that happened, I was starting to have some trouble before that. I think a lot of people think that it was some, that it, that is what sort of sent me off in another direction. But I was actually starting to have some trouble a few years before, she said. Um, I did come up against what felt like a wall. And with what happened, I really needed the time off, which ended up being a couple of years. In a weird way. I don't understand. I know. Yeah. Like, so, she so it's pretty big. She was, in a dark, she was in a dark, dark place, place and was doing it for the thrill and the rush But also, I'm like, it. was it just she didn't... Like, to me, I'm like, were you in a dark place or was it you like were... money troubles? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Definitely She's not money. No, it's not money troubles. She it might just, have been. It doesn't really clarify. <laughs> Is that the end of the quote? says, I really needed that time off, which ended up being a couple of years. In a weird way, it was almost the best thing that could have happened because I'd never asked myself the question before of, is it okay if I'm not going to act? Is there anything else? Because that was all I really knew. Did this she get caught like crazy leaving person. the store? Or was it like after they were like, I think it she was just after. shoplift? <laughs> and then she went to court for it and everything. That's probably, yeah. Like, if we, like imagine just a famous actress comes in to your store. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston is Yeah, like Jennifer <laughs> Aniston comes in. You're just like, you know, a... Hourly employee at somewhere in Saks Fifth Avenue. Yeah. Oh my God, Jennifer Aniston's here. Oh, wow. she's, she just she's getting the cash oh, She's taking all the and, and then she walks out. Everyone's gonna be like, "Did she not put her credit card down?" Right. That's got to be a bizarre. Yeah, I'm like, did she run out with the stuff, or was it like? I think there's vi there's like video footage do... of her going around stealing mm. all of it. I've seen that. It sounds before. like she's having a mental yeah, yeah dissociation. Um. Yeah. Because like, what a weird haul. <laughs> it's a weird haul. <laughs> The, I would really enjoy a that nice explanation pair of eighty dollar cashmere socks. Oh my that God, I can't nice. imagine. I could never justify spending that much money on a pair of socks, but like could justify stealing that could much. Steal it, yeah. yeah, I don't blame her. The Just explanation is yeah, like yeah. <laughs> even weirder than stealing. <laughs> like that, the explanation is scarier yeah, than her it, stealing. Yeah, it should deserve so much community service time. Four hundred eighty hours. Like, how did that, Matthew Broderick just get off with a hundred and eighty dollars fine, and this lady had to do four hundred and eighty hours of community service? Because I hate women. The patriarchy. What do you think she had to do? 
I think when they say the community road, service, I, like I think it's like, <laughs> can you what? Can you do community service online? On I think Zoom? so. Yeah, I think it's like well, not then, but they're not. It's not like you're like going out on the side of the highway with the that's little pick. I'm, that's what I'm picturing. That's yeah. not what it actually is. When they give community mm. service, I think it's like. They go and to they like can, shelters or something. They can something. also like bunch it together where I think it's like if you give a speech to like a hundred inmates that counts as like a hundred oh. hours. Oh. I think. I don't know. I might Does be wrong about this. Does it say what you have to do? Ryder must complete her community service by April 7th. The judge said specifying that she worked 240 hours at the City of Hope Medical Center in Dort, California, 120 hours at the Foundation for the Junior Blind, and 120 hours at the Caring for Babies with AIDS Foundation. Babies, babies with, with AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> yeah, that was in 2002. That's... Okay, so not the side of the road. Not yeah. the side of the road. No, she's not giving an orange jumpsuit with a little stick picking up Doritos bags. That's literally <laughs> the only thing I think of. When Is that what Noah Ryder? Me yeah. too. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I, I also feel like so many celebrities have had to do that, and they've had photos of them like on the side of the road picking up trash. I know, but like photo op, maybe. Yeah, yeah I think every so- you probably just get to pick every celebrity photo is a photo op. I feel like probably most of them, yeah. Mm. Or did you see a, a picture recently of Jennifer Gardner, right? Uh, the one who used to be married to Ben Affleck, right? Yeah. Okay. She was giving like a homeless man like oh, her socks yeah, her and shoes. shoes, which I was like, oh, but I'm like, what is going on? Like, it's it looks I'm like, is that a set up moment I, for where she tells the paparazzi to go photograph right. that? Because like, great job mm-hmm. for that paparazzi guy being there at the right time. No, I think but, that she was already at some sort of she looked like she was walking around the event. gym. Oh, she was at a charity I'm event. Sh- it looked like she was taking the shoes out of her car and like giving him socks. Mm. Let me but look. it's. It's just a very strange photo, but it looks, everyone's like, oh my gosh, she's such a saint, yeah. which she is. But I'm but just. But if she called the paparazzi that's giving like influencer. Yes. I just like, yes. don't think that Jennifer Gardner is the kind of person who calls so either. the paparazzi. I don't think so either. I feel like she would not want that. Oh, oh. Hillary Swank, on the other hand. What about her? She, she Hillary Swank never. commented on my Instagram one she time. Did. What? Okay, uh, you know how when she won uh, the Oscar for Million Dollar Baby? Yes. And she went and ate at Astro Burger with her Oscar and sat there and like ate the burger. And there's a photograph of her with her Oscar eating it. It was Oscar night, and my friend Demi had like an Oscar guessing party, and I guessed the most Oscars, and I got an Oscar, like a fake one. Okay. And I realized I was right by Astro Burger, um, and I go, I'm going to go there and take a funny. photo of me with my Oscar eating the burger by her, and Hillary's, and I tagged Hillary Swank, and she commented. She goes, ha, amazing. Aww. Wow. Yeah. So shout out Aaron? to Hillary. What a, yeah, it's just like, outside of the gym. I'm sorry. I feel it's like a little she, shiny. <laughs> Okay. I feel like maybe she like frequents the gym and he's like there all the time or yeah. something. But I I can't imagine Jennifer Garner calling the paparazzi on herself. Yeah, but just that paparazzo got a great shot. He did. Nice use of the it singular also could, paparazzo. Yeah, paparazzo. It's not like the best quality. It could have just been someone else and then they sold it to like TMZ or wherever it was. Mm. Do you guys know about Ben Affleck hides his family history? I don't know if there's like a known thing or not. It's, I didn't know about it. So there's sh- there's a show called Finding Your Roots on PBS. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, presents celebrities with their genealogical histories. While a fun concept, it often brings up some uncomfortable truths, including a history of human ownership. Ben Affleck learned that one of his distant ancestors <laughs> took part in the controversial history. But this bit of information was omitted from the episode at the goading of Affleck himself. Oh, wow. He had persuaded the producers to cut that segment from the episode. And this was revealed during the infamous Sony email hack of 2015. <gasps> ben Affleck and PBS were fiercely criticized for their lack of editorial integrity. Wow. But seeing as he's gained a bunch of leading roles since then, his omission didn't seem to affect him. That's I mean, it's like also, so. Do we right. hold people accountable to like their no, ancestral no, no. like dark I think dark it's good past? to acknowledge it and say yeah. like, "Thank God, like we've moved past this." And like, yeah, it's Wait, not. What year was this? Uh, 2015. This is how uh, Bernie Sanders found out that he was related to Larry David. Yes, Doing they the did genial- this show with Larry David. I've and, seen that. And they I like saw the find TikTok. out they're like, "You're a third cousin of Larry David." <laughs> yes, and that's Amazing. when then he played him on SNL. And Ed Norton's related to Pocahontas, actually. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, he's related. And then I think Ashley Tisdale and Austin Butler are related, too. I just think that was, like, so silly to take Try it out. To, like, leave it yeah. out. I know he was probably you just, like, even I don't know. It's like, you were all, all of I our think that would just be, like, it, intro. I mean, obviously it's fucked up, but I'd be like, that is so yeah. 
It's not like he chose who his it's funny right. when people great, great, great grandfather was. Yeah. When people try to cover up something, they end up drawing more attention yes. to yes. it. Yes. It's called that's called the Streisand effect. Yes. Uh, and because Barbara, Barbara Streisand had a house in Malibu, and this was back when Google Earth was like sharing a lot of images of like people's homes, and she wanted uh her house not to be visible on Google Earth and her legal team did a whole bunch of work and it just ended up turning more attention to the whole world being like, well, what's the house look like? And the image just went everywhere and it created more more attention than she ever wanted. Yeah, it's a big thing on the internet now is like if there's something that doesn't happen that like no one really knows about and then you by trying to suppress it, you actually make it way more known. Yeah. I'm sure there's a bunch of examples of the Streisand effect, too. Yeah. Oh, big time. This episode of Good Influences is sponsored by Uncommon Goods. If you want to hear where the heck did you get that this holiday season, Uncommon Goods is your best friend. Uncommon Goods is here to make your holiday shopping stress-free by scouring the globe and finding the most unique gifts you could find in just one place. Also, when you shop Uncommon Goods, you're supporting artists and small independent businesses. These fine products are often made in small batches, so shop now before they sell out this holiday season. From art and jewelry to kitchen, home and bar, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone. Last year, I actually used Uncommon Goods to find a gift for my mom for Christmas. I feel like parents are always the hardest to shop for. Like, what do you get someone who already has everything? <laughs> and I found a really cute candle that I got my mom and I'm pretty sure it had something written on it that was basically alluding to the fact that I'm like the best thing to walk this planet which like is obviously something you need to get your parents. The website is truly so easy to use. There's so many different categories of different kinds of gifts. No matter who you're shopping for whether it's your family, your partner, uh, your friends, your coworkers, like you'll find something on Uncommon Goods and it's it's a fun experience. And with every purchase you make at Uncommon Goods they give back one dollar to a nonprofit partner of your choice. They've donated more than two and a half million dollars to date. To get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash good. That's uncommongoods.com slash good for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon Goods. We're all out of the ordinary. Um, speaking of Google Maps, one time me and my friend were just, or I guess it was mostly him. He was just looking around on Google Maps, like upstate New York, like in the nicer area. And he found Peter Dinklage taking out his trash on Google Earth. <laughs> no, no way. way. Yeah. That's yeah. So we were funny. like, is that him? And then we like Wikipedia and it was like, yeah, Peter Dinklage is a resident of this town. And I guess just like the Google Earth truck as it was going by was Peter Dinklage bringing out his, so his garbage cans. Uh, you know what's kind of cool about Google Earth? And I Are don't they... know. <laughs> Never mind. No, Darren. No. <laughs> what? What? I'm totally missing. Uh-uh. They're very. Everything's normal. <laughs> okay. Tell me. We'll she wants out. to know if he has little trash cans or oh regular size gosh. trash cans. <laughs> They were, they were regular size. <laughs> this is a scandal. Right now, <laughs> they'd just be so cute. If he had like little, little mini ones, trash. like like Mattel branded trash yeah. cans. Like, oh. are you are you like allergic? <laughs> oh, Why no. is he's COVID? It's these cats on my sweater. <laughs> <laughs> and all my cats on my clothes. Oh, um, <laughs> Mike. Whoa. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what's cool about Google Earth is that uh, you can, you know, you can like, obviously just go on Google Earth. They, you can go back over the years. So oh, you yeah. Can, you can... You've talked about this. Oh, okay. Because I here. tried to look for my old car, my old house. Yeah. Oh, fun. It wasn't there. Oh, I've read one that was really interesting to me, and then it sparked another one that oh. I always thought. You know thought... what, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> That's not real. This is no my friend's, this is my friend's post. That's Peter Dinklage. Get out of here. <laughs> Does Reddit know about this? I posted it on Reddit. <laughs> no, I think no. It's so cute. You're kidding. Valid That's question. crazy. <laughs> but what is that? I, mu- I must have made a fake account. I'm pretty sure I posted this. <laughs> You're gonna have to put this in the episode so people can see. Yeah, and then the Tom comment. He lives in the Catskills. My aunt sees him at the grocery store. Wow. wow. My friend found himself walking out of Taco Bell, like, <laughs> eating something <laughs> on Google Earth. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Wild. He's a little guy. It's crazy they can just, like, put whatever up there. Obviously, they'll blur, but it's yeah, just, like, blur whatever face, we see. But... Wow. Uh, no dumb questions. We should do an episode of, like, weird things Google Earth has found. Yeah, oh, that's good. Although, that's going to be, we have to put them on screen. That's true. I don't know how they come out. I, I have a fun one, if you guys recall. <clears throat> I think Aaron had one. No, oh, fine. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. It's not really fun, but it's just like, whoa. Let's hear it. Okay. You might know it, but I did not know this one. 
Um, where is it? So we had a president, and he had an affair with a woman <laughs> named Monica Lewinsky. No way. Um, no, wait, what the heck? Well, I can't find it on my sheet right now, so keep going. Maybe I didn't put it on. Mm. Is, but was, it was this the controversy that Bill Clinton got a? No, no, no. Um, Shanae O'Connor. Yes. She was doing an SNL performance and to like go against the church. I had that one. Uh, yep. The Pope. Um, yeah. She goes, fight the enemy. And then they, uh, she tore it and uh, got so much backlash over that. Yeah. And it's like, so ruin her sad. Career. And RIP now. She just unalived herself. It, Did it, she? It, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought she died of like natural no. causes no she she, it, was, she was struggling mentally mental all because of that like okay i think celebrities do have the right to protest and oh yes i get how offensive it is but also the catholic church was like under a lot of fire for what they were doing i didn't know but i don't think it was as prominent but the pope, as yeah but when you rip a picture of the pope no like, but, but in that when it what was it, like 1990 something yeah like it wasn't first of all the internet was no. nothing so like you just got your news from the news yeah. What were you going to say? Well, th when I read that, I was like, oh, that reminds me of when the uh, the, the chicks. Dixie chicks, but now the chicks, yeah. um, they had a show in London and sh sh they are from Texas and George W. Bush was from Texas and her president. And they were like, we don't fuck with him. Like, we are ashamed to yeah. be from the same state as him. And then they got like, it made its way to America. Oh, they yeah. yeah. Texas, they, they got wouldn't play them on the radio. They would protest their shows. It's and crazy. Could you imagine? But and now Shanae, it's like Shanae O'Connor, like in those days, first of all, the Catholic Church was like they ruled fucking everything. You couldn't. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't mm -hmm. curse on TV and like you like indecency and all this stuff and the all the bad stuff that they were doing was like somewhat known, but it wasn't like we know now. We have movies yeah. about it, like Spotlight. It was, it was for like them was sexually assaulting children. Yes, yes, and she little boys. But it's I mean in. Back in that, I think, I don't know what the percentage was, but like the amount of American families that went to church every Sunday was like, I think 50% or something more. And so to do this on mm -hmm. a show where literally all of America is watching was insane. Iconic. Amazing. But also like, yeah, ruin her career. And then I also saw on Reddit, someone posted Joe Pesci, who is the actor. He went on SNL the next week and his whole monologue was just like, I'll fucking smack this girl if she ever comes to my house. Like he oh was like, it, and like people were like laughing at it. And like, I think that also people just like forget about that. But he, his monologue the following week was just like, yeah, try it around my neighborhood. I'll give her a fucking smack if she ever does. Like, and he's just, and everyone's just like laughing about it. And he, and he's just yeah. like basically talking about assaulting her. Yeah. Whoa. And she, everyone basically turned on her because it was just such a, oh, you can't insult the Pope. Yeah. But like fucking give me a picture of the Pope. That's Although crazy. isn't the new one kind of cool? He's like, no, climate change is real. Give abortions. <laughs> yeah. Although I go don't to heaven. Pay so, to the church. It's a lax pope. The He's previous chill. pope, though, wasn't he? The pre I think the previous pope was like a Hitler Youth member, right? Well, the previous pope like had to retire, right? Yeah, but I think he was. A, I think he was in the the oh, Hitler oh. Youth. I Probably. Think. Um, I have I have a fun one. Do you remember when Kanye West though said George Bush doesn't care about black people? <laughs> yeah. With Honestly, sick. Uh, yeah, He's pretty badass. Him. But poor Michael Myers is, or poor Mike Myers is like, He's like going. Michael Myers. <laughs> he goes. Yeah. It was during like, uh, Katrina. Katrina. Yeah. yeah. But oh, he just yeah. said it so out of the blue. Yeah. Like, yeah. When he says it, it's fine. <laughs> that George Bush doesn't care about black people. <laughs> just in general, it's yeah. like the girls went out against a president and like they got blacklisted yeah. and all of that. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I forgot about that. That like, I remember like we wouldn't after 9 11 because of the French military didn't want to invade Iraq. That we were not allowed to call them French fries anymore. We called them Freedom fries. Oh yes, I remember that. Oh, do you remember that? Freedom yes. toast. Freedom toast and yes. freedom fries. Like you'd go to a restaurant and they would say freedom fries. Freedom yes. baguette. Because we were like, nah, fuck the French. They're not going to go invade a country that had nothing to do with 9/11. That's yes. crazy. America is a crazy yeah, place. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Greatest country in the world, freedom baby. Freedom fries. And I remember also that's when like freedom kiss. Purple. <laughs> yeah, right. I was just purple and green ketchup was out also at the same time, mm -hmm. and they were like, put your freedom fries in some freedom. purple ketchup. <laughs> I wonder if like McDonald's did a campaign. It was it was a pretty big oh, deal. Yeah. Um, Pepsi released their latest ad starring Kendall Jenner. Oh god. The video yeah. begins with protesters in the streets meeting police with riot gear. Jenner <laughs> modeling by the march, 
So she's not even part of the march. She's just like doing a photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Which is already. <laughs> Proceeds to take off her wig. She goes, wait, what's going on over there? Takes off her wig, joins the march, gives a police officer a Pepsi, and then they all just start partying peace. in the street. Then there's peace. As in like, oh, you know what? How about we're going to solve a country's worth of oppression, police <laughs> violence, and protesting. I get what they Pepsi. were trying. Is a billionaire daughter of the political yeah. elite giving a fucking... Pepsi. Pepsi, sugar water to a police Just officer. Just like a white, like rich, already Kardashian. Being I. Like, how did no one, from the idea department to the marketing department to the production department to the, hey, can we see the ad before it goes live? Go. Uh, what are we doing here, guys? <laughs> <laughs> this Imagine is crazy. I've been doing like the Black Lives Matter this yeah, year. Yeah, what was like, twenty twenty? Was it around that time? No, it was like no. Oh, okay, I don't know what year. I can look it up. Yeah, what, what, are they, what are they protesting in the commercial? I don't know if it was like specific. It just looked it's, like police yeah. riot gear. And I stuff. get what they were trying to do. They, were, you know, it's like the whole like you put a flower down like the gun barrel. Like, twenty seventeen. To be like this. Twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. I so. think. I mean, like, it wasn't like police were treating people well in twenty seventeen. No, I think it was like things were, were starting happening. to like become more mainstream. Yeah, but that's just. And then they pulled the ad. But yeah, like, because everyone was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> but like, I feel I think like it was more like comedic like there's a lot of backlash but like a lot of comedic backlash as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. it, uh, like making it funny yeah. like yeah i feel like during black lives matter two people were joking about yeah, yeah. like, like just just yeah. yeah do you guys remember when Lindsay lohan tried to kidnap a kid no. <laughs> I, I read that and i was like i don't know that i've ever heard about this so i, I want to bring it up year Lindsay lohan how long ago it was a 2018 oh my <laughs> i do remember this can you yes. read the story yeah in 2018, Lohan went live on Instagram as she harassed a homeless family in Moscow and tried to convince the children to leave with her, scolding their parents for not letting them leave with the first slurring stranger who offered them movies in a hotel room. Lo hold on. She's live on Instagram. Yeah, she was live on Instagram. Committing a kidnapping crime <laughs> well, in another like, country. Give your kids to me. Like, I will I take care of them. She thought she homeless. was doing something. She thought she yeah. was doing something good. She but thought it was she not. ate. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Eventually, she appeared to grab at one of the children and was struck by their mother. She never faced any charges and refused to explain the incident, telling Paper Magazine she was too tired to talk about it. <laughs> it's a great response. Yeah, Honestly, just, I'm too tired. Too <laughs> I wonder, like, uh, w what happened between then and now? Because I feel like she's doing much better. Oh, totally. Yeah. I don't know. She got married, right? She married? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. so. And, like, pregnant. Oh, She's gonna wow. have her own baby. She didn't have to kidnap it after she all that. She have to kidnap one. <laughs> that, I want to watch that live video. That's crazy. I oh, remember it's that. It's definitely on the internet. Yeah. There was sure. some rapper or something that was live on Instagram in the shower and he dropped his phone. <laughs> and then like there was like a direct upward shot <laughs> oh, of his... Oh no! Do you guys remember this? No. <laughs> yes. I think it was either a rapper or an actor or something. Like he was live on Instagram in the shower and his phone dropped. Let me look and it And then up. it was just like a direct upward shot of his dong. <gasps> dropped. Phone. Dang, for Let me free. See. Yeah. Kodak Black dropped his phone in the shower while live on Instagram. Oh. The photo in is crazy. It's a crazy angle. It's just like <laughs> on the floor. Is it a nice ween? Uh, I don't really remember. It's it's kind of pixelated. Oh my gosh. I can't see it. Oh yeah. Look. I can't you can't really see it, see it in this picture. But it's yeah. just that's a How lot. How many of... people were in there? Fifty seven hundred. Five thought, yeah. Mm. Um Damn. Well, this is on Reddit. Um, here's one that I think is crazy that it is. It was a controversy at the time and now it's not. Um, I don't know what year it was. I think it was in the nineties. Musical duo Millie Vanilli experienced a fall as drastic as their rise when they were caught limp syncing on a oh. performance on MTV. Yeah. This isn't what ruined them. Countless pop acts. Girl, you know it. Girl, you know it. Um, yeah, this was big. Basically, at the time, like, lip syncing, everyone was doing it, but no one knew about it. And they yeah. got, like, caught lip syncing during some live performance. And no one knew. Like, the uh, America at large didn't realize that, like, a lot of artists were just putting backing tracks on. They just thought it was live, and they somehow slipped up. And they got dropped by their label. Like, they couldn't perform huh? anymore. They didn't get played on the radio. It like, also was discovered that it wasn't even it wasn't their even voices. Them singing. Yes. Yeah. It wasn't even their That's voices. That's like the biggest controversy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they, like, Millie Vanilli. They're just like this, it's like this duo from the 90s that Girl, did like. You no, know, it's true. And this is the craziest thing their best new artist Grammy was revoked. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Give me a fucking point. And then Ashley well, they, Simpson. They weren't even singing. <laughs> I know, but it's like. I guess, yeah, that's crazy if it's not their voices. That's crazy but... to me. Like, oh, 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 I see what someone you're saying. Someone else is singing like, behind the studio, It would be have... like if Zac Efron won a Grammy for yeah. High School Musical. Yes, when it's not his voice. Yes. yes. 
Um, so that's probably part of it too, is that it wasn't like their voice that lip makes syncing. Sense. Yeah. But then I think it just opened up the world where Ashley Simpson just like does hey. a little dance and no one cares. I saw that well, live. That was still a big controversy. That was a big I saw deal. that live as well. Yeah, that was. It was still Aaron, a big controversy. Are you a big then. Ashley Simpson apologist? Of course. Oh, it was the best show ever. I Ashley love Simpson Ashley Simpson. She's I feel so sorry for her that that like moment happened. Like, I who know. cares if she was lip syncing? Her voice was like, she, she, has she can notes. sing. Yeah, it, it, she, she can she sing. Can and it was sing. like, I don't think people realize there's always a backtrack. Yeah, and so that yes. was playing. It's not like the whole thing. Like was even Taylor Swift uses a backtrack. Yes, yeah. and so it's like you can hear when she's actually singing. Yeah. and I think that's what happened to her. But and it was on the show too. I remember they like. It was on the Ashley Simpson show that moment. I love Ashley Simpson. I know. Oh, she had her own show, oh the God, Ashley Simpson show? It was show? the best. Yes. Oh, yeah. She was dating Ryan Cabrera at the time. Oh, I love On the together. way down. Yes. I saw you. She's in the music video with him. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. From the side, and I won't forget the way you love And now she's married to Diana Ross's son. Yeah. Evan Ross Katz. Who also, I met that guy, and I had no clue who he was. And <laughs> oh my God. then he was you married to Ashley Simpson, and I was like, remake? what are your kids' names, or whatever. And he was like, they have really cool kids' names, or it's like Ziggy. And, yeah. I, and I was like, damn, you, you got some great names for kids. Like, what do y'all do? <laughs> like, And then Patricia after was like, dude, do you know who you were talking to? I'm like, nope. <laughs> She also used to be married to Pete Wentz. Yeah. Uh, that's right. They have baby. Yeah. They have baby. They have baby. Oh, do you know that like Owen Wilson has a kid that he yes. refuses to see? That's He's disgusting for that. Oh, I remember that a Actually? little bit. Yeah. So he has like two sons mm -hmm. and then he had a long term girlfriend for like five plus years and she got pregnant and then he literally just abandoned her. And they have they have a daughter together, and he literally has never met the She's daughter. She's adorable. Like what? Yeah. Wouldn't you want to Steve see? Steve Jobs the same thing. Yeah. It's crazy because it's well, like not that it makes it, it any then... better, but it's not like it was just like a one night stand right. that he yeah, like he fully abandoned. Yes, like you had a full blown relationship with this woman. Yeah. What uh, What I think is just crazy is like that Arnold Schwarzenegger like hooked up with the like the maid, their maid, and has a son. And all respect to that kid, <laughs> he's very but, handsome. Like, he looks just like Arnold, <laughs> but also like the maid. Like I don't know. Like, that is crazy. Yeah, know, but also, man. you're the governor, too, of California. Yeah, like, that's scandalous, for sure. Dude, Bill Burr has such a good joke about that. Really? You heard it. He's no. basically just like, people talk shit about Arnold Schwarzenegger for, like, banging the maid. But just, like, think about the life that this guy has. He's like, he moved to another country can barely speak the language, <laughs> got famous for lifting weights. I lift weights, nobody gives a shit. Yeah. Can you imagine? And then married into American royalty, married a Kennedy, becomes the governor, banging the maid, that's a layup. How am I going to get caught? Like, I did all these things. He's like, can you imagine moving to Austria, becoming a movie star, becoming famous for lifting weights, marry Austrian political royalty? You're going to bang the maid. It's not, like, no big deal. And, like, he's just saying, like, it's it's crazy that he... Banging the maid is very... That's I think that is... Scandalous. That is so sad and, like, low and terrible. It's... Yeah. Where it's, like... Well, they were in love. Yeah, when you, like, hook up with someone who's, like, part of, like, your household, but, like... I mean, yeah, that's usually how it goes. It's whoever's closest to you. It's yeah. much harder. Because she's probably there every day. I'm yeah. sure she's, like, literally working there every single day. I always wonder, like, people who just have affairs, I can't imagine. Like, people, like, with an office affair... Oh my god. Just how do two people get started? Like what if you make the move and the person like is like, what the fuck? Like is that worth <laughs> yeah. the risk? I think there's a lot of build up between both yeah. for a while. But like, like that Ugh. first move has gotta be just like you're just gambling everything in your life on like this. Yeah. It's crazy. crazy. Drama. Just not don't do that. Do you know about the Matthew McConaughey arrest since you did go to school with him? Oh, when he got caught playing the bongos yeah. and naked in his house smoking weed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's yeah, I'm familiar with it. I don't like, was it like a really, it was just a big deal of him just getting yeah. arrested under a really silly circumstance. But... Why, what did he get arrested for? So it says Matthew McConaughey was arrested in 1999 for getting really high and playing the bongos while naked at 3 a.m. The University of Texas alumnus was arrested in 1999 following a noise complaint. Officers found him dancing naked with some bongo drums and saw a marijuana bong on the coffee table. He was ultimately fined for a noise violation. That's so dumb. I mean, that's kind of like the per like, I could be see a neighbor though. Like this guy's just playing the bongos at fucking four totally, in the morning. Totally. Yeah. Is he like, yeah. naked no, in there? It's just so crazy that you <laughs> like yeah. I you would get arrested for that. It sounds like you probably got naked. a fine, like a ticket. Yeah, see, that's yeah. a cool getting arrested yeah, like, I agree. moment. It's like, I, almost, hey, I like, got arrested. There was a time where I was like debating on breaking into a water park, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know. But then I was like, 
if I would get arrested oh. out of anything breaking into a water park, it kind sure. of fun. it's like funny. Yeah, like that's like a mugshot I'd be willing to take. Yes. Yeah. Um, speaking of weed, do you guys remember when Michael Phelps was like a whole thing? Yes, the bong. The bong oh, or whatever. Yeah, it's always yeah. a bong. It's always a bong. He was also arrested. I read. Um, at 19 for DUI. Ooh, DUIs are bad. I mean, Honestly, bad, shame yeah. on you for just getting drunk behind a wheel. You put other people's lives at risk. Like, I, I'm very... Yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yeah, what a loser. Oh, yeah, but yeah. When my um, housewife just got a DUI. Yeah, she, she ran into someone's house. And, Mike, I think you'll think it's funny. I do not, she, Sam. Know this part. No, she was driving her car. Her dog <laughs> was in the car with her. She, like, clipped... She, like, took a sharp corner and kind of clipped a house and then parked her car and got out and pretended like she was just walking her dog. <laughs> do, do, do. Like, what did she think was going to happen? Was she a cartoon character? Like, no. It's like a Bugs Bunny and bit. And they were like, ma'am. <laughs> Jesus. Damn. Yeah. Oh, I'm so well, sorry. Really we do not stand. There. No. Um, Shannon, what are you doing? But in, she's like checked into rehab. In, oh, she is. I think, yeah. yeah, she's like going to like some sort of facility. Okay, that's good. They all end up there. Right. <laughs> I know. All the housewives. Um, Money can buy a class. Yeah. 2007, Britney Spears shocked the world. Do we know she what? She shocked the world. Because she shaved her she head. She shaved her head yeah. in front of the paparazzi. Oh, yeah. And they just called Sad. her the craziest, like, this is a mental breakdown. Boy. Now it's like a thing. Oh, you're going to get a post breakup short haircut. Like, well, the theory like, was she was going to get drug tested by her hair. And oh yeah, really yes yeah. so, oh i thought she was just doing it to like, get a reaction on the paparazzi yeah. i don't know what the truth is but the theory was she for the custody of her children she was getting tested by her hair follicles to see if she had been on any drugs and so she shaved all her hair so they couldn't get it i guess that sounds like it's made up by the media yeah, who knows i think I she know. was her like yeah fuck you like i'm gonna shave my head it says here uh it, we all know it was a singer experiencing this is some random fucking website but Experiencing mental breakdown, uh, she had issues falling asleep for years and prescribed Prozac when she was 18. She had marital and drug, drug abuse problems, and paparazzi followed her every step. The final straw was her aunt's death, which turned into a revolt against everyone. She was sending a message that she wants to just be left alone. Yeah, mm. leave Britney alone. Yeah, Britney was oh, like, yeah, leave Britney, Britney alone. She was... What is that guy doing Chris now? Chris Crocker. I He's think on TikTok, know that think. name? Chris oh, Crocker. Yeah, Chris yeah Chris Crocker. dude, he was a MySpace icon. Leave was that and that was a bit or that was a real that thing? That was real. Uh, yeah, I think it but was he's real. like you know, it's kind of like he just does like a caricature, oh, maybe, like yeah. leaning into wow, it. That's but crazy. Yeah. That, that's like someone you guys know. Yeah, Chris, Chris Crocker. Chris Crocker. I don't know who that is. That just like feels like you know to all the bitches that want to fight me. Do you guys know about Jennifer Lawrence wiping her ass with Hawaiian culture? What? Excuse Wait, me. Wait, say this again. Jennifer Lawrence wiped her ass with Hawaiian culture. Basically, she like grabbed a rock that was sacred, but didn't realize, I guess, <gasps> and like wiped her ass with it. And then that's unfortunate. Did she say she this? Even, she said this like as a story, and then this the happened. Whole world yeah, was she told like, it on a uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, she even caused a landslide, making the only time J Law's butt has been bad. <laughs> like what a stupid article. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I read one that was interesting. Wiping your butt with a rock. Yeah, but it was she like was the a, only thing she had. It was like a culture thing. A lot of people that lives in Hawaii were like, "This is really bad." And I guess like she, the no, but why would you fell. pick a rock? That it was sounds probably insane. the only thing that was right yeah. next How to about her. A leaf? Like, they, maybe there wasn't a leaf. I don't know. That's crazy. I think it was like an accident, obviously. Well, yeah, yeah. she didn't know it's a Hawaiian culture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I guess like the rock fell down the hill and like almost hit someone. And I guess all the Hawaiians were like, it's <gasps> the curse. It's the curse. And she's like, no, I'm the curse. Oh, like, my I'm God. Dead. Yeah. Um, that Julia Roberts actually became a, a runaway bride. Wait, what? really? Oh, wait, yeah. with Lyle Lovett? Or, I don't know, I remember she was married to him for like a couple I don't months. Know. It says she became a runaway bride in real life after ditching her planned wedding to Kiefer Sutherland, which like oh. I did not know. Didn't know that. Whoa. Um, in order to run away to Ireland with his friend <gasps> Jason Patrick. Oh my God! Scandalous. Whoa. It says that she was engaged to um, Dylan McDermott, I and knew. then she did something with Kiefer and then left Dylan Kiefer. for Kiefer and then they were set to be married and then like weeks before the wedding that was like all paid for by his family she like ran Damn. away with his friend Julia Roberts can you believe wow. that's crazy slippery slippery Kiefer, girl you and Kiefer smoking weed yep. outside she called my it house off. Have you ever seen the video of Kiefer Sutherland tackling a Christmas tree when he's blackout drunk? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like a home video of him and he's just like drinking whiskey and he's like, you want to see something? And he just charges into a Christmas tree and oh breaks it down. Whoa. Apparently he's got a bit of a drinking problem. Keef. 
Keith. Jack Keith, Bauer. Uh, Arcane 24. You ever do a Jack Bauer Power, power Hour? No. You know what a Power Hour is? Yeah. You just I'm watch from Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I know what a power hour is. <laughs> Have you ever done a power hour? No, not like a real one. I don't know, we used to do that. We did them yeah. sometimes together at Yell's old apartment together. Did we? we? Did? Yeah, we definitely did power hours. How many beers is it total? It's like four beers, like right? Three or four. So it's not that bad. No, but in an hour, that's like you crazy. A, yeah, you sip take every one minute. a shot of beer every every minute. Minute, yeah. Yeah. And there's like power hour playlist. Do one. A yeah. power hour. Power hour hours. Let's live yeah. stream it. one before your wedding? A Mac mm, King? No, we're not doing a power <laughs> hour before my before top golf. Aaron. No, you're gonna ha you're gonna have to do stuff. Yeah, I, that I'm gonna want to be power hour <laughs> for. <laughs> Think I want to stand up there and hear a bunch of no. Greek. You have to like be with him the whole day. There's 14 other guys you won't even notice. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Matt. I'm going to be there for your big day. That's why I'm going to the Taylor Swift movie instead because you won't even notice all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. I want like. W do you think that you would notice if we weren't there? Because there's so many people. Yeah, no, I'd be looking for you. <laughs> also, we'll it would get, about, it'd get back to you. Like, where was Carly there? Yeah. <laughs> um, we were there. <laughs> we were literally there. We AI ourselves <laughs> in the photos. Just send people dressed in wigs. Yeah. Um, I have two more. I don't know which one. Well, I have the Vanessa Hudgens insensitive COVID-19 comment. That wasn't that oh, long ago. Oh, Why? yeah. I mean, people are going to It's inevitable. It. Yeah, yeah, it was like March 2020. It was like right when it started. And she Idiots. was on live. And she goes, Idiots. it's a virus. I get it. I respect it. But at the same time, like, even if everyone gets it, like, yeah, people are going to die, which is terrible, but like inevitable. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this right now. And then she yeah. uh, later apologized. <laughs> yeah. So no, that, kind, that whole like moment, like to me, just spoke volumes about who she is kind of as a person. Yeah. Celebrities are usually like, not. Yeah. Like I was like, Ugh. I guess I'd never like seen interviews with her. I just like only know her as just starring in things. Yeah. After that, oh, I was yeah, like, she oh. just, like I think they should make all celebrities like. live in New York for at least a year. <laughs> Because when they live like in L.A. and they're just in their hill and they're in their black cars and just go from place to place, they're just they don't even touch the ground. Like, yeah. But I feel like people who live in New York, they ha maybe have a little Rub bit some more dirt in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just you bump into people. You see the subways. You see people working like. Yeah. That should be if I'm president, that's going to be a law. If you have over <laughs> a million followers on Instagram, you have to live in New York for a year. And then I have one more about, I don't know if anyone cares about this, but the Reese Witherspoon police encounter. Oh, yeah. People kind of forget this? that she, like, basically was arrested. Oh, she, she had, like, said, do you know who I am? Yes. Oh, I love that. Love that. How old was she? Like, uh, an adult. Like, a couple years ago. It was in 2013. Oh. Yeah, she has a book club. Yeah. But she, she's also, she's spoken about it, and I like the way that she has spoken about it, even though. What did she, she say? Uh, it was some, I like the way she phrased it. She did was, she, like, like not we all mess or something? Up, like, she was, um, oops, where'd it go? Drunkenly. You, yeah. Uh, I don't know if she was driving though. Says so Witherspoon was drunkenly mouthing off to a police officer after her husband was pulled over after mm, being okay. suspected of driving under the influence. Embarrassed by her own behavior that night, Witherspoon owned up to it, pled no contest, and paid more than three hundred dollars in court costs and fines. The Oscar winning actress made the talk show rounds to apologize for the incident and shortly after this is before notes apologies. <laughs> and shortly after everyone forgot about it. Then Witherspoon went back to playing characters who were agreeable role models as if nothing happened. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. It's, it, the video, though, it's very like, do you know who no, I am? Yeah, it's oh, bad. you have made a big mistake, yeah. Buster. It's like one of it's those like, things. She's trying to pull the famous card. Yeah. Like, and like, it, I would not expect that from Reese with her yeah. when you're drunk and like, if your husband was drunk, yeah. also, like, she's probably freaking out. Oh, my. Do you know trying who to, I am? Yeah. Trying to like pull out all the cards. Yeah. Fuck. But like, I wonder if he was drunk. Like, did he I get shot? Hmm, maybe not. Did they do a little test? Maybe they did know who she was. And they were like, never mind. Uh, yeah. It's all right. On your way. Lovely, yeah. Oh, blonde. Reese. <laughs> yeah. Love, lovely, lovely blonde. <laughs> red, white, red, white, and blue. What is um, it called? Do you guys know about how Mel Gibson is just a huge anti-Semite? Yeah. Yes, I remember that. Like, yes. he went on. So apparently there was one time that Mel Gibson asked Winona Ryder if she was an oven dodger. Oh. <gasps> What does that mean? Like, like the ovens escaped. of the Holocaust. Oh, he's just like a fucking. He's like. I thought you were gonna say, "Are you a th are you a thief?" <laughs> no, but it's funny that Winona Ryder is looped <laughs> in here twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's crazy. But then she just, is that like a way of being like, "Are you Jewish?" Yeah. Wow. Like you're a Jew that survived the Holocaust. It's like a fucked up way to. Where ask. did he say this to? Like yeah. uh, she said at a party. Like uh, it says she told the New York Times that Gibson asked her that. Well, wow. go to the Anne Frank house now. Oh, here it you is. You want to go there? Mm -hmm. In in July, what would you 2000... sign in the Anne Frank book. What would I sign? Yeah. 
And it Frank probably, was a good influence. Yeah. I'd sign my autograph. <laughs> and the heart. Yeah. Um, and Frank would have been a good influence. I'd put a brand deal on there. <laughs> sign up to for better help. Yeah. Uh, in July 2006, L.A. County Sheriff's yeah. Deputy James Mee pulled over Mel Gibson on the PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway. After informing Gibson, who was drunk, that he will be detained, the actor, apropos of nothing, just goes, fucking Jews. <laughs> what? The Jews are responsible for all the worlds and the all the wars in the world. And then he asked the officer, are you Jewish? And then his, he had a statement from uh, his publicist that said, I acted like a, a person completely out of control when I was arrested and said things that I do not believe to be true, which are despicable. Okay. I am deeply ashamed. He also just calls Jews. He continually calls Jews Hebes. Like Hebrews and, yeah. and oven dodgers during their work together, which Hebes is kind of cute. He, yeah, I, do you I, like I, Hebes? I I say Heb, but I've been told that it's it like is a offensive. Oh. No, it oh, is offensive. Like, like in the fifties and sixties, they would call like Hebes. Yeah. But like I'd be like, "Oh, are you a fellow Heb?" And it's oh, like, like I think it's kind of cute. cute, like Hebrew. Like yeah, we're it's taking like it back. Cheeky. It's crazy. It just it's crazy it how much people still didn't like Jewish people like after World War II. Like I think Yeah, you think everyone would be like, Oh my god. There's this no. movie called School Ties with like Brendan Fraser and they're at this like private school and it's like the fifties or whatever, and he's a uh Jewish like quarterback or he gets <laughs> into this private school to play football for the team uh, team at this private school but he has to keep his like jewish identity like oh. a secret and they like find out that he's jewish and they're calling him that word and i'm a like heeb? yeah like, he's a he's a i'm, I'm not you can say he's a he's a heeb and i'm like who cares I, yeah. he's jewish what's the big deal the war's over I like, mean, interesting. that was like a thing also in the 50s and 60s of like country clubs they would call them restricted it's and it's like a way to say that you have to apply to get in and the restriction is you just can't be Jewish or black. Oh my god! So like a lot of country clubs, which is why like I never feel like I should go to a country club. Is that's I don't even feel like I should go I feel to, like a, to a country club. Isn't there a thing with like women can't? Either? Yeah, they're usually for men. But even in America, like in the 30s and 20s, like Irish people and Italians are like we're not even the same race. Like we don't yeah. get along with, don't don't associate with. And it's yeah. like you're both white. So like. Oh, I think, yeah, Patricia's grandpa couldn't join a country club because he was Greek or whatever. Yeah, yeah. it's just like stupidity. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for, thanks for, God. Tickle, tickle, tickle. tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> okay, we'll see you next week, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.